Hello, good evening to wherever you guys are. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. The, the sun, well, the sun's not really out, it's behind a cloud right now. But it's not dark and it's not raining. It's been a while since I've actually been able to get out on my MT with enough spare time and not right after school. Like, I've actually got a day free. I know it's crazy. I'm going to go and meet with a friend right now. I'm oh, just going to go for a little cruise. I thought, what better time? to make a video then now I'll see you guys when we meet up oh, one that rider picked up it's mainly just a two person ride but we got Roman ahead on the CBR 125 he's got the abnormally loud exhaust um, I don't really want to spend a bunch of money on an exhaust for my 125 because eventually I will be upgraded into an MT-07 or an R7 fingers crossed so I might as well just hold off a couple more years, save back that extra bit and just save for a like a nice MT-07 rather than like I'm I would love to trust me, I would love to spend every penny on this bloody bike. But at the end of the day, when I really think about it, I'm going to end up being on a bigger CC unfortunately, which yeah it's gonna suck when this goes, but that's not for that's not for ages. So we're not talking about that, but yeah. I've got all the like little accessories like a quad lock, I can transfer that over to an, the MT-07. My dash cam kit, I'm definitely transferring that over because that's so handy. I've got a charger for my phone, I've got an alarm, heated grips. All stuff I really buy for it is what I can, can transfer over. And it's, it's such a gorgeous day, man. Like, yeah, yeah I'm just... I love, I love my 125, oh my god, on a blind corner, that is stupid of him. Alright, fair play. Oh, his, his bike does sound so nice, man. Like, undoubtedly, it sounds just phenomenal. All the bikers are out. Okay, well, I thought he went into the back of that car there, but no, he's just doing stuffies. Fair enough. He's loving life. Goodness, it's not rainy, it's not dark, it's oh it's actually a nice day. That's so weird man. I don't actually know where we're going, all I know is he could be kidnapping me right now. Fingers crossed he's not. traction control there, I felt it.
you know, this road is extremely familiar right now. I don't know why. I don't think I came down this on my driving test, though. Or driving lesson, sorry. Maybe I just come down here often. Oh. Oh, it's a gorgeous road, though. going on up here? Oh my god, everyone's here. Or well, I can find neutral, that's great. What is this place? The main. Ah. There we are, I just went in for a little bike meet or something. I didn't even know that happened there, but it was sick. Got some pictures. I oh, got my phone taken, sorry, on my bike. I hope I see it around somewhere because it looked like it would have been a sick photo. But yeah, now we're leaving. I would have recorded, but I didn't really want... Everyone knows what a camera is and I don't really want to put them on there, cause any issues or whatnot so i just thought it'd be better not to record but there's a little shop in there it's very nice i, I saw a really nice like Peugeot, Peugeot. Well, i don't know how to pronounce it like a purge Peugeot bike like something 01 and it had like a really nice integrated back it had a massive display like bigger than mine alongside it had built in the usb charging and it had hazards which yeah I've got hazards but I installed them myself so it doesn't really count it, but it comes with hazards on a 125 and a built in charging port and a screen bigger than this what? like I thought my 5 inch display was big but then that bike shoot me up with like a 7 inch one, it's ridiculous oh it's actually it's a really nice bike, if I can find it I'll uh, just put a little picture up on it but I doubt I can because I can't even remember the name of it. All I remember is just the numbers, which isn't very helpful. Oh. I hate... You see, I don't mind having that on my... i got this that like, little alarm I've got. I don't mind having that, but sometimes it does catch... Uh, sometimes it does catch right about there, and then it activates it or deactivate it. Deactivating it is fine, but when it activates it, then... Yeah, then I can't really do a lot because I'm driving. So I have to kind of panic to pull over and turn it off. Because if I don't turn it off, it'll start screaming like crazy. He's obsessed with doing stoppies ever since he turned off his ABS. I'm never doing that because that re requires removing a fuse, which is pretty easy because I can find my fuse box just like that. But ABS, for goodness sakes, I want ABS. Like... It's just, yeah, like if I have to slam on, the last thing I want to be thinking about is, oh, how much pressure do I have to put on? And when I felt too much pressure on, then I've gone over the front. You may call me a pussy all you want, but at the end of the day, if it prevents me from going head over my bike, I'm keeping it on. God, getting low. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Right now, back on the worst part of having a hyper naked bike. Uh, this.
get it, you got a car. Nah, messing with the 125 struggles. <laughs> wouldn't change the world for it, wouldn't change the world for it. your helmet, the sound of the engine, the weather. Oh. You just can't go wrong with bikes man, they're so nice, they just make you feel free. Right, I absolutely hate this roundabout, you can't see anything. <laughs> 